What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. In today's episode, we're going to continue pulling apart the front end of the 350Z and hopefully pull the engine. Stay tuned. We're going to start by pulling the air intake out. Next, I'm going to take off this plastic cover to expose any plugs that need to come undone underneath of it. And whoever did the oil change last, oh, got a little carried away. It was me. This is part of the AC system, which is being removed from the car. I may end up putting uh, an AC system from like a Corvette or something in here and seeing if I can uh, tie it into the existing um, blower. But for now, we're going full race car mode with no AC. All right, now this hose, I believe, is either the heater... Um, core feed, hot water feed, or return. Um, I'm actually going to need to figure that out because I do plan on hooking up the heater to the new water pump. It should be pretty straightforward. Just got to know which one's feed and return. All right, I'm cutting it, not messing with it. All right, I got my fine tool and I'm just gonna get in here and cut the hose out. Just like that, easy enough. So I think the driver's side of the car is actually pretty well disconnected. I'm gonna move on to the passenger side I'm going to move my trusty hood, hood support or whatever to this side. Nice. This has something to do with the EVAP system. Ah. 
Ow! Oh, that hurt. Dang it. Yep, that hurt. Um, all right. Moving on. All right, so this big bundle of wires needs to come off. It has everything from the ignition coils to the throttle body. Basically just the full engine wiring loom. So just gonna work on getting that off next. I think I have a majority of the main wiring loom unplugged, so I'm going to start a start trying to pull it apart. It goes all the way down to the transmission as well, so I had to get under the car and get the O2 sensors and um, the tra transmission plugs. Now I think I have everything unhooked and unscrewed that I need to. the wiring harness out of the way. Whew, boy. Now I just got to get this wire off the uh, alternator. All right, so the alternator wiring that goes to the positive battery terminal is in there really tight. I don't know if I can get my hands in there, so I'm going to take the belt drive off and just pull the whole alternator. I'm back and it's a new day. I'm going to be hooking up our engine leveler to the engine and get some tension on it pulling upwards before I pull the motor mounts and trans mount.
backwards. I'm going to pull the platinum and see if I can find any um, lift points somewhere back here that I can hook on to. Okay, there it is with a little tension. May or may not have to remove the hood. Um, probably would be the smart thing to do, but we'll find out. Now I have to take off the transmission mount and I'm gonna slip a um, floor jack under the tail of the transmission so it doesn't fall. And then I'm gonna take off the two bolts for the motor mounts. I'll be right back. Well, I would say the engine is out. Now I just gotta find a spot in the garage to put it. Holy crap. Wow. All right, that is a wrap for today's video. I have to say I'm pretty impressed with myself, not to sound like I'm blowing my own horn or nothing, but this engine came out without a single hose or a single wire needing to be unplugged or cut, which I thought for sure I was going to be struggling with. So I'm happy with it. Um, it almost felt too easy. Uh, we'll see how putting the engine, the new engine, back in goes. So um, in the next episode, I think we'll be putting our new camshaft in the Junkyard 5.3 LS and we might be throwing it in the car. You'll have to come back and find out. If you like this video, as always, leave it a thumbs up. And if you like the project, hit the subscribe button. Thanks. Uh -huh.